टैंक लेआउट टैंक लेआउट एंड पाइपिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इन पाइपिंग इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट एस सी वट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस कोर्स सो टैंक लेआउट एंड पाइपिंग इज ऑल अबाउट द लेआउट एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टैंक्स एंड देयर पाइपिंग एलोंग विद दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट काइंड ऑफ कोर्स एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स आर देयर वट काइंड ऑफ सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट्स आर एसोसिएटेड विद टैंक पाइपिंग so what we are going to cover uh, in this course is type of tanks we'll try to look at uh, various pictorial view along with the basic concepts related to fixed roof tank floating roof tanks bullets and spheres okay and we'll look into the concept of rolling ladders then if we talk about the layout consideration we are going to see various uh, clauses which belong to different standards for example oisd or any general guidelines are there to decide the spacing criteria then road layout how roads are associated with tank farms why these roads are required okay then dicoil calculation what is the total procedure what are dead volumes what is actual volume how we are deciding the dead uh, dicoil volume dicoil height and thickness what are the various clauses uh, in various standards related to dicoil okay then how we are going to access the fire fighting uh, equipment and how the movement is planned within the dike enclosure all those things will be covered in this section okay then we'll also try to look at various api codes api standards which are there okay related to construction of tanks like to testing and other things okay so all those clauses we'll try to look at then osd clauses will keep on uh, referring time to time so this is again all about various codes and standard which talks about tank layout and piping then another factor which is really critical that is safety aspect which are associated with tankage layouts we are going to see what are various nfpa clauses okay critical clauses we'll look into what are the spacing and testing clauses all those clauses we will try to look at then fire water and foam piping okay this consists of uh, the network which really helps in the safety of tanks so we'll look into what kind of uh, arrangement we plan to save the tanks from fire whether it is a fixed roof or a floating roof then all the ring piping we'll look into then deluge how we are planning the deluge how these deluges are helping us to cover the Uh, safety at the time of fire or emergency so this kind of safety aspects shall be discussed and explained overall we are going to see the pictorial views also of various tanks various layouts so this is what we are going to cover in this course i'm sure this is going to be very interesting section and uh, you will get some additional value out of it